Welcome to another video in this energy harvesting series of experiments and as you can see there have been quite a few builds going on. The idea has been to try out various different methods of harvesting circuit. So at the top here on the top left you can see a Cockcroft Walton. I'll show a picture of what they're supposed to look like and the idea is to amplify any energy coming in from one of the harvesting methods. Didn't really work out any different so well, at least I tried it. Next along here We've got this little version which is the standard type of harvester. I'll show a picture of that. And that's coupled with a blocking oscillator with air core coils. 48 turns plus 48 turns of 40 AWG. And that works, you know, fine when it's with a 1.5 volt AAA or something, but doesn't really work very well when coupled to the energy harvesting, it needs a core in there. I just thought I'd try it. The big change though, well that's been with using a simple AV plug, which is two diodes back to back, one's turned round from the other one, connected on one end, and then the two ends here where you get your output. It's like a half wave bridge rectifier. I've got a 3.3 microfarad in between. And normally people will make an AV plug and then you can, you know, with wireless experiments, Tesla towers and such, you'll get LEDs to light when you're around the field. That's kind of the usual way they are. But I found it to be a great energy harvesting method and very much simpler when you compare that to that. Very much simpler component count. So that AV plug method is on this one on the right that I've built. And that's had a very, very interesting surprise that I'll show later on is the blocking oscillator circuit that the AV plug and capacitor connect to and you can increase the turns on the coil from 150 to say 250 if you can get the wire in there it is 40 gauge and they are a bit fiddly but of course different sizes of coils may also produce different running results that's the circuit this circuit over here is the one that I've had great success with that one can run from four inches away from a Wi-Fi router router and that's been a great one I've really enjoyed this circuit itself it's uh, shown a fair few things that were surprised about the smaller version is this one here which does operate okay if I put my finger just on there nothing else is connected it'll take it a couple of seconds to start but there you go it's there flashing away just on the table by me touching that little plate so that's worked out really quite well. Now, we'll go on to this one. So this one itself has been the surprise. This one that uses the AV plug and the 3.3 microfarad capacitor. Well, if I touch this one, you know, just hold just like that, like the other one. Give it a couple of seconds and sure enough, you know, we're running. Well, first of all, that shows we don't need the regular kind of harvester, just the AV plug setup. But next, I'll show you what's been really surprising. Another thing was, you see, I went over to ChatGPT, as you do, and had a good look around and asked it how to do this kind of thing with using a small, as small as possible plate or something to collect the energy. And it said, only a large metal plate can replicate these conditions at low frequencies, 60 hertz. Yeah, well I thought I'd challenge that one. Now to preface this, as you may know, I was doing experiments with this computer and I found out that the case itself is aluminium. And um, that was what was allowing the leakage to come through from the monitor when it was switched off down the HDMI lead. And this case was then outputting energy that the uh, circuit was able to collect. Quite the strange thing to find out, but I'm glad I did. So I wanted to get away from using that as the power source. Now, if we have a look at this circuit, you can see it's running. It's running quite nicely. Little LED is flashing away. But the thing is, of course, I'm not touching it, and it's not connected to the computer. What it is connected to is down here. It's just that. It's a mains outlet. It's a six-way extension, just a small extension cord, there we are, taped it to the side, and there we are, it's now running the circuit. So that has been an amazing success. 
There we are, a bit better angle. But it actually gets better than that. I don't even need that six way, I'll show you. Well now you can see the LED is going and what it's connected to is simply a mains cord. There we are. So that's it, <laughs> that's entirely it. I'm hoping to make that much smaller again of course but I was just very surprised that simply by using that we can run the circuit. And really we should look at whether it carries on when the computer's switched off. So let's have a look here. Uh, turn it off. Shut down. So there goes the screen. There goes the computer. And there go the speakers. And is it still running? Let's have a look. Yes. Yes it is. So there we are. There's the simple mains cord, there's the circuit, and there it is, running with the computer switched off.